markets, which it looks like in the pre-market actually trending lower right now, is a couple of big names that you know, Apple and Netflix. Is Apple looking to buy Netflix? Melissa Armo, owner of the Stock Swish, joins us now. Melissa, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Happy good, New Year. Good, good. Happy New Year. We're going to get to what we're seeing in the pre-market in just a couple of moments. But first, I want to talk to you about this. You know, these analysts at Citi came out with a report that there was a 40% chance that Apple would buy Netflix. The price tag, $75 billion. And when you've got more than $200 million getting repatriated by Apple if they bring it home, thanks to tax reform, <laughs> they see this as likely. What's your take? on this whole story? Well, the question is, does Netflix want to sell right now? I don't know if you saw the news on that, but Netflix is launching a brand new show this Friday starring David Letterman, which mm. is really exciting. And, you know, Netflix has decided to invest some serious money in OTT content. For those viewers who don't know what that is, it's content that's delivered over the Internet. And that's where Netflix really has more of a niche than Apple. Although I will tell you that Apple has just green-lighted 10 shows, which is really big news, too, starring Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Aniston. I don't know when that's going to begin, but that's an investment that Apple's put up. So it does... Netflix want to sell. Would it be a good acquisition for Apple? Probably yes. Right. But does Netflix want to sell right now? Remember, about two years ago in 2015, Netflix's stock was up over $700 a share. And then they did the stock split. So, you know, Netflix might just ride it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And also, you know, you got to remember the big, you know, the, the big question mark is Reed Hastings. Is Reed Hastings ending, you know, does he want to keep running the company and build Netflix or does he want to cash out and walk away and buy a private island. That's the Reed Hastings part of this. I want to move on to what's happening in the pre-market. Uh, right now, we're looking at an escalation in the selling off uh, with futures. Not that I'm going to make a big deal out of this because it's already been a blockbuster year and it's only January 10th. But part of this seems to be the issue with the 10 u Treasury. We're seeing a lot of, uh, it seems like bond investors are nervous. What's got them spooked seems to be the, the worry about inflation. And then inflation is going to get out of control. And I want to show you this tweet by Bill Gross. He kind of is, you know, he's the voice when it comes to the bond market. There's the 10 year. Bill Gross, though, tweeted, quote, bond bear market confirmed. Um, you know, 25 year long term trend lines broken in five year and 10 year maturity treasuries. You know, this is kind of the voice that a bond investors listen to, Melissa. Is this what's spooking stocks this morning? I don't think so. I think this is just, I think we're probably going to come in a little bit today. We'll have to see, but we are gapping down in the pre-market. You're right. But if you look at where we've been since January 2nd, since the start of the year, the market has just gone almost straight up. Vertical. We had a power trend year all of 2017. So, I mean, I don't see why people wouldn't want to continue to invest and put money in the market just because it comes in a little bit today, or even if it comes in for the next week. That's not a reason to get scared. That's not a reason to start thinking bearish at all. The market market power trended in 2017. The market power trended since the open of the market in 2018. I mean, give it a break. Let it come in a little bit. I mean, people are going to take some profits. You mm -hmm. had the SPY run up over 275 yesterday and the Dow went over 25,000. I mean, if you were in it and you were up, you might want to take a little bit of profits yeah. out. Well, listen, like I said, I'm not about to sound alarm bells this morning over, you know, the Dow pointing lower by 75 points in the pre-market. I think, think we're doing okay right yeah. now with our investments. Thank you, Melissa. Thanks. Appreciate you getting up early. All right, coming up, 